Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a new-ish ColourPop collection. I'm a little behind because I was out of town when this collection launched, but better late than never because I'm really excited about it. This is the new ColourPop Bye Bye Birdie collection. This collection has already launched, but um, I just checked and it seems that everything's still in stock on the website. By the way, uh, I'm wearing my Jonas Brothers t-shirt because I went to the Jonas Brothers concert last night and it was literally the best day of my entire life. I've never been happier. And when Joe sang Gotta Find You, I truly have never been happier in my entire life. Uh, my entire life is made. So I thought it was even more perfect because this shirt matches this collection. So I was like, perfect. This is a pretty big collection. So let's get into it. Let me stop rambling. As always, you guys can use my code it's Katrina. It'll save you 10% off the ColourPop website. Thank you guys so much for everyone who always uses my code. I really appreciate it so much. The thing that we have is the Bye Bye Birdie palette. And we open up the palette and this is what she looks like. Here we have five mattes, three shimmers, two super shock shadows, and two pressed glitters. This does have 12 shades in here, and this is retailing for uh, $18. I love the packaging of this. I think it's so pretty. Next, we have the Birds of a Feather BFF Mascara Gel Liner and Cream Gel Color Bundle. This is retailing for $18, and in here we have some new shades. We have the Charmer Cream Gel Color and Cream Gel Liner and the Plum and Get It BFF Mascara. These are all plummy tones. Obviously, if you guys can tell from the name, it's retailing for $18. Next thing that we have are the Liquid Lips Duos. So two duos, and inside there is a ultra blotted lip and an ultra glossy lip. We have Winger Takes It All, which inside we have Ringleader and Menin... I'm not even gonna try to say that name. And then we have the Can't Be Tamed bundle, which has Cloud Chaser and Well Nested in it. Retail for $12 each for the bundles. Individual liquid lips as well. These are both ultra glossy lips. And we have the shade Starling and Tattletail, which are these two shades right here. The retail for $7 each. And I believe you can purchase all of the individual shades and they're all seven bucks each. Two blush stick duos. We have In A Twitter and My Perch or Yours. In A, a Twitter, we have Hen Party and Magpie. Blush stick and a highlight stick in each one. My Perch or Yours has Avery and Flycatcher. And that's these shoe shades right here. Those retail for... $14 each. Then we have four new Jelly Much shadows. On the Fly, Hoot and Holler, Fly the Coop, and Early Birdie. And these are all retailing for $8 each. I have three new False Lashes. These retail for $8 each. Um, we did have False Lashes in one of the other collections. I hadn't even tried them yet though. We have Doll, which is a more like natural wispy hair. Then we have Shorty, which are the ones that I'm wearing right now, and then Batty, which are a little bit more dramatic. And lastly, we have some new nail art decals. These will retail for $7 each. Um, I've never used these before. I have used nail decals in the past, like not from ColourPop. I just never do my nails, so I just overlook it all the time, but these are really cute. They match the collection really well. You can purchase the entire collection for $150, um, and I think that includes everything in this collection. So, like I said, this collection has already launched, so everything is available on the ColourPop website right now. So this is the look that I came up with today using the collection. It matches my shirt, and I'm obsessed. <laughs> so if you guys want to see how I got this look right here, and then hear my little review at the end of the video, then just keep watching. Okay, so my eyes are already primed and set. Start off with the shade Nesting, which is this shade right here. You dust that in the crease. A really nice color, a transition shade for like any pink shades. Um, so this is really, really nice. Bring that a little higher up towards the brow because I think I'm going to use one of the Jelly Mud shadows, I think. I don't know yet, but I might do like a little fake cut crease with the Jelly Mud shadows. So next shade I'm going to go into is Boo Bird, this shade down here, just like a little bit darker than the shade we just put down. And just kind of deepen that up a little bit. It has like a little bit of glitter in it, but you know, like those shades always like blend out to be matte, so it doesn't really matter. Next, I'm gonna go in to this one, Heron, Heron Chic. This one looks really pigmented, so I'm kind of tapping some of it off 
on the back of my hand. And ooh, this color is really pretty. Ooh, I love this. Focusing this on the outer part of my eye. Mostly on the outer corner, but I am bringing that into my crease a little bit. Well, I really, really love this shade. I'm gonna go back with the brush that we used before to blend out the edges of it. I think I'm gonna take that a little bit more into the crease, just like that. But just focusing it on the outer corner is so pretty too. I take a little bit of plumage, which is this bottom shade down here, and focus this like towards the bottom, like kind of by my lash line, just to deepen it up a little bit. But I don't wanna lose that like fuchsia color from the other shade. But I'm gonna focus that like on, okay, it's not really changing the color that much, so that's fine. So I'm just gonna focus this really right here. Go over it with Hair and Chic to bring that color back, but still have that depth from the plumage shade. So taking that Hair and Chic shade a little bit more into the crease. Love this color so much, I just really want it to pop. For the lid, I'm gonna go into on the fly jelly much shadow i'm just gonna take like whatever was on the lid with a little flat brush I feel like a cut crease with this but this shade is so pretty and this is why i love the jelly much shadows because it's just like an easy way to do a cut crease without having to like mess with concealer and stuff i love this you guys know that these are like my favorite colors like pinks and purpley pinks and stuff. I like tapping towards the outer corner so it kind of blends in with the outer corner shade. Take a little bit of this one too. This one is uh, Fly the Coop. I'm just going to take that on the other side of the brush and put that towards the middle right here. And this shade will blend in a little bit <clears throat> with the outer corner shade too. If I go back with the outer corner shade, it'll just blend into it really nicely. Taking a little bit of plumage, since we used that one earlier, to just kind of blend that into the Jelly Much shadows. Go ahead and do the other eye really quick. Do like my foundation and stuff, and then we'll come back and do the rest of the products. Just put on my foundation, concealer, and bronzer. Do my eyes match my shirt like perfectly? I'm so happy. <laughs> I use the My Purge. Uh, or yours blush stick duo. There's Avery and Flycatcher. So I'm going to use the Avery blush, which looks like this. Take it with the ColourPop F9 brush. And I think I've explained this before, but I just like to graze the top of the blush stick to get some of the product on there. And then I just stipple it on. I find I get the best payoff and application that way. Definitely like my favorite Kind of tones it's definitely a little bit more pink than i normally would go but i think it looks good with the look i like it and then for the highlighter this one is flycatcher i just like to apply the highlighter with my fingers this one is like a more pinky peach highlighter um i think i said this the other day but i'm like on a really matte look right now so i'm gonna apply a little bit of highlighter not too much a little it's subtle but i like it because that's kind of the look i've been going for recently Blends into the blush really nicely too. So I'm just gonna take the brush again and just kind of blend the two together. I have the Birds of a Feather BFF bundle. This has the mascara, uh, the gel liner, and then the cream color. Um, this is in the shade Charmer. The eyeliners are Charmer, and then the mascara is Plum and Get It. So I don't know if I'm gonna apply the cream gel liner just because I like the look already right now. But you guys know how the cream gel colors work. This one is really pretty. I will apply the cream gel liner because I love these and they're my favorite. So this one is really pretty. It's like a darker purple plum color, whatever. I'm just going to put this in my waterline. Ooh, ooh, this one is rich. Yeah, I like this one a lot. This one is so pretty. I can definitely see myself using this one a lot too. Um, so for the lower lash line, I'm going to smudge that out with hair and chic which was that pretty shade that i'm obsessed with <laughs> so i'm just gonna smudge out that liner really close to the lash line 
these shadows are so pigmented and they're really really pretty and I feel like I mean I don't have an issue blending a lot of like any color pop shadows but I feel like these ones blend really nicely I think I'm gonna blend that out with uh boo bird which was this shade down here just to kind of smoke it out I probably will bring this a little further down I'm obsessed. I literally like I'm obsessed with this palette. I'm gonna apply some regular mascara to my top lashes and then we'll use the other mascara for the bottom lashes. I use the Plum and Get It mascara on the bottom lashes. I have this issue because I always do the colors of like the, the mascara on my lower lash line so it doesn't really show up how like that exact color on my lower lash line but I can see it but it's not like really apparent on camera. And this one's pretty dark too, so it almost looks like black mascara, but it's not. So it adds like a hint of color, but it is dark enough to where I feel like it's a little bit more wearable. For my inner corner, I'm going to take one of the Super Shock shadows in the palette, which I was very excited about. I'm going to take a Gander, this shade right here. I'm just going to pop that in. Ooh, that one's sparkly. Ooh, oh my god, that is so pretty. Holy crap. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. This is so... Pretty. I love a bright inner corner highlight, so I'm living. Okay, so I'm just baking right now, but I'm going to apply the lashes in the style shorty. These are the ColourPop ones, obviously. So I'm just going to apply these ones. These ones are a little bit shorter, obviously, because of the name, but I want the shadow to show. And the other ones were a little bit uh, longer and more like dramatic, so I still wanted the shadow to show through. So I'm just applying these. These are so pretty. They like really emphasize, they're like a little bit thicker on the outer corner, so they really emphasize the deepness of the outer corner shadow. Like not too long where they like cover up the eyeshadow, you know? I actually really love these a lot. Yes, I absolutely love these lashes so much because I do like a little bit more like volumized lashes, but I don't like them too long, so these are like perfect. I think I should trim this one a little bit more, but it's fine. Okay, so moving on to lips, I have no choice but to use the Can't Be Tamed duo because Can't Be Tamed is like my one of my favorite Miley Cyrus songs of all time, so I have to use this one. But in this one, we have the Cloud Chaser Ultra Blotted Lip and the Well Nested Ultra Glossy Lip. Went with the Ultra Blotted Lip first. This one actually looks really pretty too. Ooh, yes. I love... Ooh. Absolutely, 1000% love this shade. Like the perfect mauve lip. I'm here for it. And with the well nested ultra glossy lip, this one's like a more pink with some gold shimmer in it. I go over that a little bit. Ooh, this lip combo, we stand. Let me dust off some of this powder really quick. So, this is the finished look. I'm obsessed obsessed like literally obsessed these colors you guys know I love pinks and purples and stuff so these are definitely like right up my alley and oh my god I love everything literally I love everything in this collection hands down probably one of my favorites I can definitely see myself using this palette a lot the shimmers even like the, the mattes in here are so good I love that they have two super shock shadows some of their palettes have super shock shadows so that made me super happy i love the cheek products i love the eyeliners the mascaras the lip products i loved the jelly much shadow i think it's so pretty like this color i die the lashes literally everything give this collection two thumbs up probably one of my favorites i love that we have a lot of products too this is such a big collection of different products so um we got a little bit of everything and i'm obsessed i love this look i feel very myself in this look like these are my favorite colors to wear i love pinks and purples just a very like well coordinated collection where everything really like matches with everything like i i've said this before i hate when collections don't have like products that like will go with the palette or like things like that where like the palette is one color and then like the lip colors are like completely different i think everything in this collection is very well thought out and like i can use every product like i did today obviously and it matches like perfectly you guys know i love to match everything i'm very like monochromatic so i absolutely love this collection if you guys haven't already i definitely would say pick 
everything up <laughs> it's so good and like i was saying earlier when i was doing my eyeshadow i feel like these shadows for some reason were just like literally blending so easily more than usual i don't know why i'm feeling that i was gonna love this collection anyway just when i opened the package the colors really stood out to me i wish i would have gotten this like this video up sooner um i just literally haven't had time but i'm obsessed with it if you're gonna pick anything up i would definitely say pick up the palette the jelly much shadows the ones that i use the other ones are okay but the ones that i used are beautiful um this little lip duo is pretty i love these shades you guys you guys know you guys already know like what shades i like so i'm sure you guys know like that these were gonna be the ones that i would pick like pick to use um i also really like the blush duo that i used i think the blush is such a pretty color if you're like me and you love those like purpley toned eyeliners i definitely would say pick up the bff like mascara and liner bundle i think that one is really good too i hope that this video was helpful for you if you guys haven't picked any of this up yet and if you did um pick anything up since like, this already has launched leave me a comment down below of what you picked up and if you've gotten it yet did you like the stuff or not so just leave me a comment down below and we'll chat in the comments but anyways thank you guys so much for watching if you guys did like this video then make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe if not subscribed already and i will see you guys in my next video bye